Yo, so what's going on? You don't know the big man Ross looks live now in the building. One time for the one time count, cool count, crunch. Welcome back to my kitchen. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. We are here in my kitchen and we have a, well, let's have a review. Um, Today's review is about the uh, uh, Hello Fresh and Dinnerly. Right? Well, it's supposed to pop up here. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's about the review of both of them. Is it worth it? Was it worth it? Did I enjoy it? Did it taste good? Um, what was it? And honestly, I had two mixed experiences. Okay, so let's just start off with the beginning one. Hello Fresh, last like I told you guys. During the pandemic, you just streaming through online, social media, boom, this thing come up. Hey, you get a couple meals on here per serving, you get $80 off, we send it to your house, pick and choose your food, and I'm like, man, what the heck this thing is? But like, really? I about to go online and order this food that I don't really even know where it come from? Like, for real? Well, yes, that's exactly what happened. And it was just as different, or I think it was actually a creative and strategical amazing plan just like during the pandemic, everybody been ordering takeout. So, uh, well, I think that worked very well. And um, at least for the master plan behind of it all. You can't go outside. You ain't want to go to the grocery store every day, day. So you bring it home. You do what you got to do. And then you cook it. So in Hello Fresh, they advertise very well. The marketing approach is really good. And the presentation was amazing um that i honestly give it okay to be fair right i would give it five stars but i don't want to <laughs> i don't give it four stars because um it was really good i just don't want to give it five stars um i just haven't tried it enough to give it five stars and then i think my own presentation my own my own HelloFresh will probably be five stars. So I don't give you guys a four stars because that's a rest book set. But the presentation was good. The food was fresh. Um, the, 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 the packaging was amazing. They actually used some great recyclable products in there. It looked like whoever packing, whoever, whoever their management team is, they said, okay, look, we make sure we packing everything good here, fresh. The, the, the recipes, which was three of them. The recipes was simple and easy. Um, I tell you, you didn't really have to, you didn't have to go in your cabinet, get extra spices and spruce it up. No, you did it. You could have did all of that right down the package. You're like, what? And the thing is, it make you feel like you were really in a restaurant. Like, like the white I cook here, it will definitely be better than um, Applebee's on Friday. And all those places because it that thing tastes good and I was like wait like this is the stuff and these are meals that you'll probably see on those menus but not because I cook it myself it, it was the best but it probably was right so I said go for it on hell on hello fresh after the first week though that heck ton expensive you start seeing how expensive it was and then at that point you realize well uh, I can just go to the grocery store or order on the line, order gro or order groceries online or whatever it is, pick it up, and then you could go ahead and use those same recipes because they have all of it online anyway. Use the same recipes and cook your own food. So I think that was a. I think that's what you should actually do, honestly. And then you can buy your own food. You just use their recipes. All right. Next I know. Bing. Um, dinnerly. Well, Diddly was it, it was cheaper. <laughs> I see so I see that heck said two ninety nine a meal. Mister Bombo, two ninety. What over here smell good, boy? I said two ninety nine a meal. Oh yeah, man, we're going to get out there. Now here's the problem. It, well, it's not a problem. So you go in there, you see it. It's not as it's not as glamorous as Hello Fresh. But they at least have meals there that you can recognize and everything. But is that one was more like a holiday time, you like simple simple food. Like you could really 
there's somebody who don't really know to cook, you should probably start out at Denley first. Um, because they don't put your your meals, it don't give you that extra spoof. And the presentation of the box, but the box actually look cool, but inside of the box, I just didn't like the way they packaged the food. It looked like they just got the minimum, the bare minimum, just to get us over the hump. And um, But it worked, it kept your food cold, um, and I guess it was fresh. But I just didn't like it. Hello Fresh did so good on the market inside that you was expecting that same thing on Dinner Lee. Dinner Lee. And, um, I mean, I made it work, you know, but I wasn't ex as excited as Hello Fresh. Um, I made this shrimp scampi, which I spoofed up um, just a tad bit. And I didn't like their particular recipe. And the other part was just barbecue chicken with a, a dry rub. And that was it. <laughs> I actually got three meals too, but I bought extra shrimp and I bought two meals. The third meal was the extra packaging of the chicken and the shrimp. So I just kind of just had more. And then here's another thing for both of them. Yes, I was full on my servings, which means that many of us eat at home with a serving that we are not supposed to eat. <laughs> so pretty much we, at home, we probably eat more than a half, like one and a half or double the serving. But you realize the serving they put on there is by the, like, well, let's just say it's the normal average, what they think, uh, 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 what we should imply and be eating as a serving size, which wasn't bad. I was like, I was actually full but I was like, man, so I've just been overeating all this time? Yeah, probably so. So um, that let me now able to ratio how to cook because honestly, it took so long that I thought, okay, here's the problem. When you cook at home with your parents, you see them making all this food, you kind of mimic that. So when you grow up, you kind of do the same thing and you realize you're like, Yo, I got food for days, but really and truly you just overcooking. Unless you can make multiple meals, that's okay. But um, when I was making a service, I was like, man, like just this little bit goes a long way. Yeah, it really go a long way. So, Dinnerly, I would say Dinnerly, if HelloFresh get four stars, Dinnerly got two stars. Um, because it was good. I just, it just didn't have the extra, uh, uh, uh. Or it wasn't as Bangladesh as, um, Hello, Hello Fresh did. I bought this a Hellerly. Hellerly! <laughs> I think in the video video should name that Hellerly. Um, but yeah, man, go ahead, try it out. It was cool. This is why I'll give you the honest opinion. I mean, they all went down good though, anyway. Check. It's just that this one was more spoofy than this one here. So, um, yeah. And I see some more others. So I might even just entertain it just because. Well, I'll entertain it the first time around because anytime after the first time, you end up spending way much more than you want to spend. And that's probably not the best thing to do. Um, especially if you don't really like it or, you know, you're just actually going outside of the box to try something new. Or, or should I say inside of the box to try something new? But look, in the meantime, between time, you've done another big one, Rance Books Live, another building, one time for the one time, can who can quench. And yes, we are here in the kitchen. Make sure you come back, tell a friend to tell a friend, and tell another friend to tell a friend come true, and then we're gonna do the thing. We're gonna have a whole bunch of 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 of, of, of um of I just said see you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>